going on with masses, tens of thousands of, of people are being mass murdered in Gaza, so many uh, innocent men, women and children, so many people are being uh, are dying under the rubble, so many people are dying because of the lack of necessary uh, medical treatment, so many people are dying because of starvation, of hunger, this is unacceptable. And as Jewish people, we are out in the world, we are out on the streets in, in so many cities, to denounce all what is taking place because sadly all of this is being done supposedly in our name this is an embarrassment to our people and this is a terrible desecration of our religion when the jewish religion is being misused to justify all these crimes these this is criminal this is this is, this is anti-jewish this is unacceptable this is brutal this has to stop today and never should the jewish people being mis misused to justify all what is taking place. We have to remember that the state of Israel does not represent world Jewry. And the world Jewry does not condone all what is taking place. And, the, and, and certainly the Jewish religion does not condone all of this. Anti-Zionism is not anti-Jewish, it's not anti-Semitic. Because there is a difference between Judaism and Zionism. Judaism is a religion, Zionism is a political movement should never be confused. So many Jewish people oppose what is taking place. And the Palestinians are not against Jews. The pro-Palestinian solidarity movement today in the world publicly say that they have nothing against the Jewish people. They are against the occupation. So are we as Jewish people. We demand an end to this brutal brutality going on in, in, in Gaza. We demand a total permanent ceasefire, but the ceasefire is way not enough. We have to lift the siege of Gaza, we have to end this entire occupation, we have to release all Palestinian prisoners, we have to have all, we have to grant the right of return to all indigenous people of Palestine, and we have to end all oppression, we have to restore all rights to all people that were wrong. And at that time, we can see once again the beautiful that did exist in Palestine. We lived in Palestine despite any differences of religion. The difference of religion was not a cause for conflict and shouldn't be a cause for conflict. It is the occupation of Palestine which is dis destroying everyone, Palestinians and Jews. We have to end, end this occupation in order to be able to see peace and harmony for all. What's the current situation of the members of the Heart in Israel right now? Well, our people in Israel, the members of the Turekata, anti-Zionist Jews in Israel, are being oppressed already for decades. But, but now, the last, the last three months, over three months, is way worse. We cannot even stand up on the streets. I have a colleague of mine from Jerusalem visiting my home yesterday and told me they cannot raise a Palestinian flag on the streets. They will be arrested. There's nothing they can do. They do everything they can behind the scene and they share, they, 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 they support the, the, the all activities and pro-Palestinian solidarity being done abroad.
administrations are changing. Not only are they changing in the content of the discussions that we are having, but they're also changing in the intent of the people who are out here in the streets. We first came out here and they were calling for a ceasefire. But we found out that a ceasefire only means pause. Shame! We first came out here talking about what happened on October the 7th. But now we understand that that was just the beginning of another phase of the genocide. And now we understand that the world knows it's a genocide. Our brothers and sisters in South Africa took them to court to declare it a genocide. But the declaration of the genocide did not stop the genocide. They're getting ready to go to the United Nations.